Should I close my eyes? Not yet, not yet. You don't need to close your eyes yet. yet. Thomas family, welcome home. Oh my gosh! No! No! George Star Rescue is a true team effort, and I love working with other organizations making a difference in their communities. I'm on my way to the New York Giants training facility to meet two-time Super Bowl champion Eli Manning and a very resilient family. Hey, Eli. Wow, man, really nice to meet you. Likewise. Obviously, what you've done on the football field is so impressive, but even more so, what you do with the community here. You mind telling me a little bit about the program you work with? One of uh, the main programs is Tackle Kid Cancer, which is an initiative through the Giants and Hackensack Hospital, where you're just raising funds for research for pediatric cancer. With George to Rescue, we always say it takes a village. It takes the community coming together to help these families. And the, the word cancer and kids should never be in the same sentence. Exactly. I think of my childhood and it was just so, it was easy. And then you go to the hospital and you see a seven or eight year old kid who's going through chemos in the hospital in and out and their attitude is unbelievable. And one of these inspiring kids is seven year old Jude Thomas. Our son Jude is six years old, he's about to turn seven and he has the sweetest smile that can greet you in the morning. Back in December of 2015, we noticed there were some issues going on, like he was right-handed and then he started to write with his left hand and then Patrick noticed started to... on the... The, the right, right side. I, I, I checked to see if he had a broken arm, a broken leg or something, it was nothing. And then we realized something is more serious. We went to the pediatrician and she referred us to a neurologist and when we got the CT scan they showed a mass. Because as a mother to see your baby go through that is like... It's like the, like the end of the world, you know, it's like, but Jude really helped to strengthen me because he knows he will get better. He doesn't think fatalistic in any way. He just knows that it will be better. He would tell you that, you know, it's okay. He doesn't mean it's okay to be in that position, but he knows that something good is gonna come out of it. While hanging out with the Thomas family, I learned that along with Jude's diagnosis, they also recently suffered a devastating apartment fire that left them homeless. After being displaced, they finally moved into their first home, but it needs a lot of TLC. I want to take this off their plate with a life-changing, stress-relieving renovation. I cannot believe George the Rescue is helping us with this project to our home. This was the awesomest, the best day ever. The kids were excited. Most of all, we were really touched by the players, the love, the kindness, and how they care so much about our family that they never knew before. We were very touched and moved by it. The fact that Georgia Rescue is coming in, getting involved in this, and helping out this family is unbelievable. One, two, three, go! George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Painters Tape. For more info, go to scotchbrand.com slash painters tape. All right. Hey. That's here. Hey, good to see you, George. Good to see you. The family is out of the house, and I am finally laying eyes on their archaic kitchen. I think the best course of action is to open up the space, so I'm bringing in my friend, architect Petya Marasov of Mad Lab, to help us out. Straight ahead. That Whoa. is the kitchen. Uh, yeah, you're met by... This is... we're back in time. Yeah, it just, it, this is a time machine. You walk into this kitchen and it's a time warp. I mean, is it Throwback Thursday? Hashtag! And when you, when you really start to look at this oven, I mean, I think this is the original oven that was built into the house when For the house sure. was built. And this is where they're cooking? Pretty oh, sure. No. <laughs> It's, oh, it's not. Apart. Oh, this one doesn't even turn on. Jude's parents are from Guyana, and cooking has always played a major role in their culture and family dynamic. 
this kitchen is definitely restricting their culinary passion and potential. Take down this whole wall, move this door out of this area, and then the soffits really need to go because that, you know, we're not able to take advantage of more storage. So I think we've got some really great options here. Now that Petia has done her assessment on the house, it's time to bring in my friend and general contractor, Ryan Hodgson, and his team from RTH Building Company. Ryan, it warms my heart to have you, the RTH team, everybody here to help us, help the Thomas family. We're excited to be here. We got uh, hearing protection, we have respirators, we have hard We're hats, We're excited about glasses. these, the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth, yes. that's nice. It's yes. like, listen to your favorite tunes. Sledgehammers up! Let's take this place apart. We're going to take it all off. Let's start with this table. Smash it. Grand slam. In order to do the demolition, we need all the trades. So Yark is in here from Yuraki Electric. And of course, we have Lewis from Champion getting rid of all the waste. That's what I like to see, an electrician with a sledgehammer. Yeah. So we got Ryan and RTH involved, and he came in and he saw, you now you got this header right here, and that's what supports the roof. We are gonna rip this whole beam out right here. Gone. The bad news is the beam is structural. The good news is I got 20 guys here, room in the attic, a new bigger beam, so we can suck everything up into the ceiling and get that seamless, beautiful, open concept. Just see how many men it takes. These are all strong, able men. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This beam is over 500 pounds. We have to get it up, over our heads, and into the ceiling. Feels a little tight. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, here it goes. Try to need your muscles. To us, we fight this, see? George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Now the next big challenge is the beam that they carried in. We gotta get it up. That is definitely gonna be all hands on deck because watching the eight or nine of them just carry it in, I don't think they're gonna be able to do the power move. Half the house is being supported by this beam. And we have to get it into the ceiling. I'm ready, I'm ready to help. On one, you squat. On two, you move. And on three, you lift. All right, here we go. Oh, all right, it feels a little tight. Oh. All right, yep, all right, here it goes. Wow. If your girlfriend asks, you did it all by yourself. Ryan, as I look out at all of these RTH trucks, and you got like 20 guys here, you know it's dangerous once the gears start turning. Tackling this for the family is huge, but the reason we came through these doors is because of Jude and his battle with cancer, and the room he shares with his brother Micah could definitely use a refresh. It's dated, it's got paneling, it needs some RTH love. Well, this is George the Rescue, and it is why I bring 20 guys, so let's do it. Oh, you're the best! I love this guy. Oh, there we go. It's amazing, once you raise the roof like RTH did, everything starts moving a lot faster. And Benjamin Hernandez, our plumber, came in, got all the roughing done, now we are ready for Seven House to come in and get this kitchen installed. Hey, Andy, as George. you can see, the Thomas house is ready for a kitchen. How's it going, man? Good, Good to see you. Good, buddy. Good. This is wide open now, right? Yeah, it looks like the kitchen's ready to go. The kitchen's the heart of the home. That's where the families spend the most time. So we wanted to be able to provide this open concept. So we're going to have the fridge over here. Okay. The finish that we selected was the Artwood, the okay. Bow Oak Platinum. So it's a gray wood uh, finish. The kitchen's going to be amazing. It's a nice big island. We have open shelving. There's space for them to put some stools. It's going to be a kick-ass kitchen. All right, let's get our floor and get the kitchen loaded up. Awesome, let's do it. All right. Ryan, we are making some serious progress. Where there was a door, now we have a window. Yeah. And where there was a window and a wall, we now have our opening. A lot our more lights. Exactly. Yes. Light is literally pouring in here. Correct. Now we got crystal the windows, plans. crystal doors. There we go. Ah, there like go. a glove, oh, baby. Like a glove. As if you framed it for this window. <laughs> this door. This window and door. Things are really coming together at the house. So today, I'm headed up to Hackensack University Medical Center to learn a little bit more about the challenges that Jude faces. 
Hi, my name is Derek Hansen. I'm the head of pediatric neuro-oncology here at Hackensack University Medical Center. Speaking of Jude, so you've been his doctor for pretty much since he came to the hospital, right? Yeah, so Jude came to us in 2016. When he first got diagnosed, he came in, he was paralyzed almost completely on the right side. Uh, but thankfully, his neurosurgeon was able to go in. She did a phenomenal job. See how he is, you'd never know. Having Georgia the Rescue come and bring excitement to the family and make their living environment nicer, I think, will make a difference for Jude, and I know that they're going to be very excited with the work that's going to be done. Jude's done phenomenal. We've been able to see him grow so much. He's opened up. It's always, you know, brings a smile to our face when Jude comes. I think we're all really optimistic that he's going to do really well. What's up, guys? <laughs> I am getting a lot done at the house. We're making it really livable for you. Uh, before that, I don't know how you guys were all actually cramming into that kitchen oh, and that dining oh, room. And <laughs> it's not as tight anymore, but I'll just leave your imagination for the rest. And uh, do have a little surprise for, for the boys as well. So, uh, yeah, Whoa. that's what I'm talking about. So We love the hotel, but we are ready to get back ready home. Ready to go back home. <laughs> see what George did to that house. Oh, yeah. As soon as we finish this game with Jenga, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back, make sure everything's buttoned up, and uh, we'll bring you home. Introducing 3M's updated line of Scotch Painters Tapes. Every paint job is unique, but they all start the same way, with the right preparation. The family of Scotch Painters Tape are specifically designed for your surfaces. The best paint jobs start with Scotch Painters Tape. Everything at the Thomas House is going according to schedule. The walls are gone, the kitchen is in, and now it is time to bring in our interior designer, Kathy Hobbs. Just prepared you, Kathy. This has changed just a little bit, this right? This is amazing. Based on the family's background, the fact that they suffered the tragedy of being in a fire, this wasn't necessarily their dream home, but I want to create their dream kitchen. And I think that we are succeeding. It almost feels like one huge open space. This felt so compartmentalized before. Oh my goodness, right? I mean, yeah. the, the kitchen was so cramped and they had like the card table and they tried to like, say like a workspace. I love this beautiful tile by Garden State Tile. I don't like to use trendy finishes. I want to be on trend, but not trendy. It's really modern, it's timeless, mm -hmm. but with the pattern, you're still gonna get that interest, a little whimsy. Kathy, I knew that you would be on board for doing Micah and Jude's room oh, as soon yeah. as we came up with the idea that we had to do something in here too. I need to know what is the design plan for the boys' room? Right fun and friendly. If you have a space that's small, one of the things that you're going to want to do is trick the eye. And a great way to do that visually is to add stripes to a space. It's going to elongate the room. It's going to make it feel bigger. It's all about using the right tape for the job. So for the stripes, the Julian's painting, we want to use Scotch delicate surface tape. That way we can ensure that we get super sharp paint lines, but we don't have to worry about peeling any of the paper off of the wall. So excited, all the furniture's here. This is where the magic happens when we get the furniture and the accessories and the rugs. This is going to be such a dramatic before and after. It is a huge day on the rescue. Tri-State Stone and Tiles delivering our countertops and all of our backsplash. We got Fine Line moving here with all of the furniture that Kathy's picked out for the living room and the boys' room and the dining room. We're going to use this to define the space in here. This is going to help define our area. Are you okay? Are you working or not working? I'm, I'm, I'm working I'm the working. phones. I'm working the phones. Okay. So now I get my squat workout in. Ugh. I may not get up if I squat. Done. Oh. My daughter would do pshh. As do I, explosion. <laughs> <laughs> On top of everything, the family is also going to get an amazing Blanco sink and faucet. Really glad that we're able to include it in the kitchen design. Not only have we cleaned up the Thomas family's kitchen, but we are cleaning up their air with the Filtrate Room Air Purifier. All of those microscopic air particles, beware, we're coming for you. One of the things that I like with design is I don't think that everything has to match. I think it can be blended in order to create really an overall look. And that's the final touch. Just a little floral in the space. Yes. You're the one who speaks German. How do you say very pretty in German? Sehr schön. Sehr schön. 
Kathy, this room is starting to come together. Let's get our, you know, our decorating on. How are we going to really bring this room together? So we're going to layer the bed first with a mattress pad. We have all this beautiful product from Therapeutic. Also, I'm going to bring in some accessories, tie in and continue that blue story because I really want to have that whole palette of the orange and the blue repeated throughout the space. Jude and Micah's room before, it was a bedroom but it didn't function to the best of its ability. And I think that that's what we have done now. And I think it will be perfect for them to play, work, do their homework for years to come. When I tell people about this rescue, I say it's two words that never should be in the same sentence, kids and cancer. And Jude has been battling cancer for four years now, and he's made amazing strides. but. It took Eli Manning and Tackle Kids Cancer to really trust me with the ball to help take the Thomas family and Jude's house over the goal line. So uh, let's go bring him home. Thomas family, welcome home. Oh my gosh! No! No! Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow, this is... How in the world is this possible? Accommodations for George the Rescue furnished by Residence Inn, West Orange. Surprise time. No way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> oh God, it's gorgeous. If you or someone you know is in need of a rescue, visit us at georgetherescue.com to submit your story. Let's all give them a big hug at the same time. Wow, yeah, I'll take a big hug from the whole family. <laughs> good to see you. So good, good to see you. you. It's been an honor to be able to come in with an amazing group of people, yes. taking <laughs> off the burden yes. and getting this house all dialed up. Awesome. Yeah? Amazing. Oh, amazing. All right, go deep. Go deep. I'll hit you at the 50. Okay, let's go. Should I close my eyes? Not yet, not yet. You don't need to close your eyes yet. Oh, yeah. Thomas family, welcome home. Oh my gosh! No! No! Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! This is... No, 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 no. This is impossible. Wow! Oh gosh! How in the world? Oh my gosh! How they did this, how they put this together, it's a master act. I couldn't even figure out what was there before, like how it was. You need to pinch me so I can wake up. I love my house. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. But as Micah said, he thought we was at our neighbor's house instead of our own home. He actually calls it a mansion. He <laughs> said, finally, we have our mansions. <laughs> how in the world is this possible? The, the light and is just perfect. Just in. Everything is modern. The floor. Oh my goodness. Uh, we, we were always <laughs> complaining and fighting over this floor. Every morning, Patrick, I can't take this floor. And we didn't have the finances to do it. And George, through the rescue, came. Oh, <laughs> wow. 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 The whole color scheme, how everything, you know, we love the natural, like, elements. Yes. She got her dream house. Yes. Everybody. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Glory to God. Mm. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. I love to cook. I I'll be spending a lot more time in the kitchen. And the good thing is that everything is will be in place. We can set it up and I there's a, a chopping board there. You can cut your meats and, and your everything is just perfect. We, we heard about, obviously, your whole story through Eli Manning and Tackle Kids Cancer. And so we wanted to do something for Jude and for Micah. Yes. So uh, you guys want to see what we did? Yeah. What do you think, Jude? You want to go see it? Jude, I don't think I heard you. Do you want to of go see it? What? Of course! Oh, oh my gosh, let me see. Oh no, no. Whoa! Oh, oh my, look, 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 look over there, look. That's the boss right there. That's me right there in the butt, look at that. The new bedroom is a boy's oasis. That's a boy cave. 
Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. That's exactly. what it is, That's a boy's a cave. To, to yes. say it. Wow. Hi, this is nice. You got your desk, dude, you can draw. Dude. It means a lot to us because, you know, all this came together because of Jude and the, the trial that he had. He's not only excited, he's happy. He said, so I'm going to my room and I'm going to draw. Yeah. Jude, your spinny chair. <laughs> Both of you, yeah, so no squabbles. Thank you. I know that uh, when you move into a new house, there's so yes. many different projects, and I know you probably still have a laundry list of different things you want to tackle, but we are grateful. what we were hopeful is just awesome. to give you that springboard to help you get That's started. Exactly what it is. I just want to go in my corner and shout a little bit. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, let me go. Uh, hey, hallelujah, <laughs> Put it glory. In. I would not have believed, mm. like one year ago, like we were homeless, you know, basically, you know, after the fire, and then, you know, just to be here today. We are so grateful. I just want to give a shout of thanks and gratitude for all. I get excited, trust me, I'm a preacher. <laughs> don't think I'm crazy. You don't know how it would work. You don't know how it comes out. But God always have a plan, and I'm telling you, he used you guys in a magnificent way. Jude is now off of chemo. Jude's situation is improving. Jude had an MRI. The doctor told him that He's doing well, there's no growth in the tumor, so they'll take him off the chemo. All this came together, together. You know, we need to be able to get this out more, let people see, not to be on television, but to let people know that they're, they're godly and great people doing great things in this life. <laughs> the George to Rescue experience was like a dream come true. He bless his servant the mighty work he's done. It really restores your faith in humanity, you know, you know, you, you know, there are so many people out there that still care. Now we're going to have a barbecue and we're going to invite some of our church folks here. Oh, definitely, to share we, we this. We feel so proud.